Hey everyone, this is Justin with Speed Tech Co. On today's segment of Smart Tips and Tricks, I'll be showing you how to make your own portable hard drive. Now today we'll be using an IDE hard drive. IDE was a technology mainly used from the late 90s to the early 2000s. Uh, it was used for hard drive, floppy disk drive, motherboards. Today it's used for motherboards and floppy disks, but usually hard drives today are used by a TA or a SATA. Now, in here I have a old IDE hard drive that I used from the previous computer, and I'll be showing you how to install it into a hard drive enclosure. Now, these hard drive enclosures you could buy for about fifteen to forty dollars. This one here I bought for about twenty dollars. It's very good value. See here, it has a USB plug it into your computer, power to plug it into the wall, and a power switch. Now first thing you do is take the chassis, take all the screws out, and this one you just slide right out. And you can see now it is mounted to the inside. Now it won't come with the hard drive won't come with it, but I have the hard drive on here from use. First thing you do is it'll come with about probably about four screws to hold the hard drive steady. You're gonna want to put those in. And now you see that the hard drive is loose now. Here's the hard drive, Western Digital. And here is the IDE cable. And here is the power cable plug the power cable to the port and you see here's the hard drive F first here we have the power plug the power cable right into that port just like on a normal computer now you have the IDE connector that transfers all the data from the hard drive to the computer and the computer to the hard drive and right here you see in the middle a little cap on one of the couplets is a master switch. Now master is a term meaning main hard drive. You have master and two slaves. Two slave hard drives are anything from an external hard drive to another hard drive and this one you see is set to slave. What you want to do if you see it set to master set it to slave because you want it to be so you don't want it to be the main hard drive for your system anymore. What you do then after you set it slave, take the IDE cable, plug it into the port, make sure it's very, very tight. Then you plug the power, plug it in, and you see you have it mounted on the board. Now you see how very loose it is. It's hanging off. You don't want that. You don't want the hard drive moving around. So they give you screws to mount it on. Now we it comes with four screws, but I am using two today. Screw the first one. Take the second screw. Screw that one in. And now you can see that it's very sturdy, which is very good. And you take the bottom part of the enclosure and slide it very carefully, make sure everything matches, and slide make sure all the wires are down, and slide it right back in. Now you see that is complete. And you take the other side of the enclosure, put the protector on, and now you have an external hard drive. Now, when you format this on a Windows computer, it'll format probably right away. You don't really need to format it if you got this out of a Windows based computer. It's formatted to the right spec for a Windows computer. For a Mac, if you're using this for a time machine, hard drive, backup, anything like that it'll ask you to reformat just say yes reformat it 
and make sure you delete everything off here before because you don't want to have stuff on here that's just deleted it's easy if you want to get stuff off an old computer take the hard drive out plug it into a windows computer go to the hard drive in my computer and you go all the folders and you find all the data you had in your old computer take that all that stuff off and you put in documents and you format it and delete it all and you have yourself a brand new hard drive and that's it more videos to come